Hey everyone, today we're going to be discussing reinstallation of the replacement trigger guard on this Sneak Charmer 2 410 shotgun brake action. If you have one of these and had the problem with the trigger guard breaking, which leads to your trigger actually coming out if it splits completely in half or loss of control of the hammer uh, because the actual hammer spring itself is loose, what you end up having to do is find a replacement trigger guard. Now, this is not easily done. As you see, this is actually a newly manufactured printed part versus the original one, which I don't have the pieces here to look at. I'll attach a little quick picture in the video when I put it. The, the installation can be very simple as long as you remember to make one little tool of your own. This little piece of rounded metal was cut off the end of a bolt. What you will need to do to simplify the installation when you, after you of course put in the spring into the channel and you clearance all the holes and make sure they actually align up with your, your holes in your receiver. Make sure that all the holes line up correctly. You might have to clearance some of the excess plastic around them. You would install the trigger into the trigger guard using a little a little pin, which rolled away from me, that you created. That is actually the same size as the distance across, or slightly smaller, of the trigger guard itself to hold the trigger in position. Now, what this is going to actually give you is a stable platform to push the trigger in past the sear holding the hammer back to be able to put the actual pins in and the trigger pin in that you're going to be installing to finish up the job. Again, don't forget to put in your spring, rides down that channel, and I'll come back and show you the finished positioned piece. All right, we have the pins back in. We have the part installed. We want to check the function of it. We're gonna check the brake function of it as well as the hammer function. Now, prior to starting any of this, of course, we would have inspected to make sure it's unloaded and safe. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and press the brake lever. Okay, and it's hard to do left-handed for me because I'm right-handed, but I'm gonna again, again, visually and physically inspect. And then, of course, we're going to test the function of the hammer. All right, everything seems to be working with that. Don't forget to uh, hold on to your pin in case you ever have to take it back apart again. Put that in a box somewhere, save it as a nice little tool. Who knows, you might have to do something like that again. Uh, but it'll save you a lot of trouble when you work with brake action shotguns, or actually some shotguns in general that have the trigger spring contained above the actual fire control group that you'll have to put it in with a pin temporarily in place. But that should be it for now. Thanks.